Poplar before the plants go dormant for winter. And here with more on the fall fiesta of flowers is Carol McLennan. It's good to have you. Thank you. Very Carol's much. with the Biopark. Yes. Carol, tell me about your you're a horticulturist. Yes, so I am. Tell me what you prepare for this time of year. What's the fall fiesta of flowers? It's a celebration of all the fall colors, mostly chrysanthemums that we put on display, um, and then all the other annuals and perennials that come into bloom this season. What do people need to know this time of the year? I know obviously you can come and see the fall fiesta of flowers, but what do you need to know about your own garden this time of the year? Because temperatures are starting to take a little bit of swing and we got a new season coming here in a couple of days. Well, we still have to water. Mm -hmm. It's limited, but we do have to water and clean up the garden from the summer, deadhead your flowers, um, and just get ready for the fall blooms that are coming on. Yeah, it's a, probably a lot of work for you all. Yes, it is. <laughs> you have a lot of territory to cover, not only at the Botanic Gardens, right? Right. Where else? Tingley Beach and the zoo and all around the aquarium. Wow, now you said the most popular, one of the most popular is mums. And did you bring some this morning? I know yes, you have some I over did. here. Now tell me what you brought, what is this? Those are chrysanthemums. Uh -huh. The larger pot has 12 plants in it, uh, mixed yellows and reds, and then the smaller pots have three plants per pot. Now what would somebody looking at this want to look for to know that they're going dormant? Um, the blooms will begin to fade and you'll mm -hmm. see the colors diminish and then they'll just turn brown with the first freeze usually is when they decline. And these are obviously some of the colors, so it's, it would be probably a little bit maybe dimmer color on some of them that you would want to look for. Yes. How do these differ from what we might see in the summer? Well, in the summer, you've got bright reds and oranges that stay in bloom a lot longer mm -hmm. in the season and um, all sorts of colors. Now, you do get more colors with asters and chrysanthemums, so there's quite a palette. Now, what, when you actually first notice this, because I know temperatures are getting cooler, but there hasn't been a first freeze yet. So what do you watch for this time of the year, right around the time of the fall fiesta? Um, just make sure, like I said, with watering, keeping your flowers deadheaded, uh, weeding still, because mm -hmm. we still have weeds coming up, um, and mulching your plants to keep the water in longer. I didn't realize, I guess, that there were so many flowers that can bloom this time. Of the, I mean, now's an opportunity for them to grow. And I mean, because you always think when you think of flowers, you think spring, right? Maybe right. even at the botanic gardens. But now that our temperatures are getting cooler, flowers are starting to rebloom. Mm -hmm. And so that helps this cooler weather. So tell me about the Fall Fiesta of Flower. What, where can people see it? When do the hours run? And I know you mentioned the three locations were Tingley, the zoo, and the Botanic Gardens, right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. And we're open from 9 to 5 during the week and on weekends. So the displays are out on display right now, starting today, everywhere. So even extending into the Japanese garden, you'll see. How fun wonderful blooming mums. Yeah, but it's a sight to see. I know at home it's going to be probably just a team of one or two perhaps working on gardens. I know you probably have quite the team. Yes, we do. We have lots of gardeners working with us, lots of volunteers, which we dearly love, mm -hmm. and we couldn't do it without all the wonderful people we have working there. It's got to be such a, well, it probably is busy, but it's probably such a relaxing job to be able to get, be out there with the flower and the nature. and It is. See all it's the, colors. the dream job of a lifetime. <laughs> well, I know a lot of people are going to be happy to come and see your work and some of Thank nature's you. work as well. Uh, again, you said um, all three locations in hours? Nine to five. Good. And we'll get more inf information too online. I'm sure you can get it on the ABQ Biopark website. Yes. But we'll have it through krqe.com as well. Carol, thank you for being here. Appreciate thank you it. very Thanks much. Thanks for bringing the flowers in too. Thank you. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.